Good morning, good morning, good morning. Ooh. Uh oh. I see some. But anyway. Happy Monday. Going to work. What you doing this morning? I pray that all is well with you and your family. Y'all, I am so freaking. <laughs> oh, we got issues this morning. Seriously. My ear, for some reason, this ear, uh, how you see it? <laughs> keep holding fluid. You know, when I go swimming, all the water don't come out of my ear. Yeah, I'm late for work, but I don't care. It is Monday. It is Monday. You know the old saying? Oh, clear. Clear, clear, clear. I'll be there when I get there. Yep. Chad. I'm just not a morning person. I'm just be I just be sluggish. You got gonna have a little vibration. I just be sluggish. I didn't sleep good last night. Because I kept having multiple hot flashes. And y'all, I'm 62 years old. I don't know why I keep having these doggone hot flashes. The junk should be dried up by now. Estrogen levels, just, uh, progesterone, not testosterone, but progesterone. Ooh, Lord, watch over and keep me. Yep. All that stuff should be balanced out by now, you know? I mean, I had multiple hot flashes, y'all. But now I have to sleep with a... Uh, I got the ceiling fan going, and I have a floor fan. And I had to put that on isolate because I don't want it to be directly on me. So I'm like... How am I supposed to get my rest if my body is freaking out? And I don't think, I really don't think no doctor. Because I have been to a uh, gynecologist, you know, and I talked to uh, what they call hormone pathogen doctors. One of them recommend a formula for me that I never did get because I talked to other women that was on that formula. Not the exact same formula, but go on, did move you in a hurry. Why's my car tapping? I just had an oil change, so why's my car tapping? Okay, so, <clears throat> like I said, um, wasn't really on the same formula, but come to find out, synthetic hormones cause breast cancer. We ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for that. Why people drive the uh, the exit ramp like they driving the freeway? Like, this is a slow down lane. But anyway, let's stay on track, y'all. You because know? I, be, I ain't lying. I know I be all over the place. I really do. But Monday morning, on the way to Rip. Hustle and bustle. That's my car tapping. I don't like that. I had a 
nice weekend. Um, hung out with my son. We had to run some errands. He's into his gadgets. We got a new gadget. Um, he's recommending that I get the gadget, but I don't think I need that like that. You know, maybe when I travel, because I don't know how to log in on the uh, the airplane Wi-Fi to watch movies. Oh Lord, I don't know. Ooh, there's another issue. Every time I try to talk, I get hiccups. Uh oh, that was a burp right there. <laughs> Everybody trying to get around the dump truck. Let me try to get around the dump truck as well. Yo. How many of y'all like driving to your job? I think this job is is too far. It ain't, well, let me take that back, Lord. Let me, that's how I was going. It's not a complaint. It's not a complaint. It's just a fact. <laughs> yeah. Um, I should have put my trip counter on. But my cell phone, I'm on my cell phone. My cell phone, it'll record the minutes, how many minutes it takes for me to get over here, and according to my cell phone, we have seven minutes now since I left the house, and uh, to get to the gate is like 18 minutes, but I'm like, whatever, you know, I'm trying, y'all, I'm trying. It just when you get up in the morning, you know you you know you have to take care of yourself. You got to get yourself cleaned up. You can't uh you can't uh run out the house with all the nighttime bed juices on you. So you got to get yourself cleaned up. And then me, I got to put my face on. Okay, I got to figure out what I'm gonna wear because I did my laundry, but I didn't take take the clothes out the dryer so you can imagine how wrinkled they are so I just start to dry all over again once I get back home and so I got I have things I have to do in the morning I just can't jump up out the bed like some women come to work looking like they did and just walk out the door I can't do that I had to get myself cleaned up so Maybe that's why I don't casually be on time for work. I'm supposed to be there at 6.30. But no, I can't get there at no 6.30. That's, actually, my clock in time is 6.45. But I try to get there at 6.30 because of the vehicle, I said the company vehicle, that I have to drive, uh, it blocks this other girl in. She can move it, but she choose not to. And she be like, come on, Miss Sandra, I don't want to be late. I'm like, whatever. Yeah. Don't be rushing. Don't rush. Take your time. Take a breather. Because when you rush, your whole day end up being tense. And I'm like, I don't like being tense. I ain't trying to be stressed out neither. And I know this video, I'm just ranting y'all. Y'all keeping me company, okay? Because otherwise I would have called my sister and I talked to her for a while yesterday. So I don't want to call my sister this morning. Because the only thing she gonna tell me about is her. She made a homemade, uh, pumpkin cake she made it from scratch and I know she gonna tell me it was delicious and I'm like 
you know, cake. And then she made this whole big old stack of peanut butter cookies. And they was big too. I'm like, girl. She said, I'm getting ready to wrap these up and take them, take them in that community room and sell them. Like, oh, okay. Well, I'm getting down the road. And the traffic ends out. Once I get past those three shopping plazas that I have to pass, the traffic kind of thins out. So, yep. And then the time on my car clock that says 6.37, but I know that's not the right time. Now I'm getting ready to go over some lumps and bumps. Ooh, what am I gonna do? I get a um, I get a four-hour break between 9:30 and 9:30, and I gotta be back to work at 1:30. Ooh, who's driving that? That's a long goose. Um, what do I do? I go back home and go to bed. I take all these clothes off and I get back in the bed. Because I need to regroup. I know the day I'm going to need to regroup. Yeah. Lord, I thank you for the day. I really do. We got some rain last night. It came in real strong and it was gone in about 10 minutes. <laughs> I mean, it pulled down. Wind blowing, hackling, and carrying on. And I rolled over to be out looking at it. Because you can see the main freeway um, from a distance. From my bedroom slash living room window. And I couldn't see it. So, um, by the time I got ready to get up out the bed, it was gone. It was dead. Dead stop. Where I live at, where I currently reside at, rain don't last too long. Let me take that back. We had one or two occasions where it went into from the morning and went into the afternoon hours that did it anticipated. I think that's the word for it. It stopped. Okay. But when I lived over in the East Valley, man, we used to get flooded. Oh my God, I had to get the broom and sweep it, sweep the water away from the front door. I'm like, wow. Ooh. So where I live at currently, we don't get we get rain, but it don't. It's not as bad as it was over in the East Valley. And y'all, why I feel like that? I've been living on this road. Why? I feel like I've been living on this road. I'm like <coughs> the way I go to work. When I go home from work, it's like I can drive this street with my eyes closed, but I dare not. Cause, uh, yeah, they drive, yeah. There don't be too many people on this street, but they do some, sometimes they, like the side streets, sometimes they just come on out. They don't even, sometimes they don't even stop at the stop sign. They just fly on out. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to turn into the light care land. Turn into the light. You go around. 
it's a Bronco behind me. I don't know if you can see it, but why did they chop the hell out of that truck? Man, Broncos was the bomb. Now they look, I don't know, look like Jeep hatchbacks. Little Jeep hatchbacks. We're going to see them coming up on the side. Man, that truck ain't about nothing. Is that a Bronco? Yep. Oh, that's the, that's an old one. No, I think that's a new one. Uh, it's all, it's small. It's small, and it ain't about nothing. Please don't come out there. Well, y'all, yeah, I done made it down this gruesome road. I done made it to work. Thank the Lord. I don't know what my time is on my phone. But this is another video that's all over the damn place. Accept it. Run with it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe, baby. Yeah. Open up the gate, girl. She ain't gonna open up the gate. Oh, 16 minutes. So, hey, I made the work. We gonna end this video. I see you another video, baby. Enjoy your Monday. Monday. Be blessed. Don't give nobody no power to dictate your mood. Okay? I love you.